Good morning, good morning. Welcome to another beautiful day of broadcasting here. Um, the dying of the Lagoon is against here and the second being a fan. Um, So if you are just joining us, this is a program marking the donation of some items by Conservation International Foundation to the management of Napa. This is aimed at combating illegal, unreported, and unregulated fishing with the IEU. As we are following this morning, God, we have come to acknowledge you. Lord, that it was you that made us go and that we ourselves. Today, on our sin, we thank you, Lord, because you are also the one that endow us, Lord, with vast natural resources, including, Lord, our future waters. Thank you, Lord, for the government, not for our institution. Thank you, Lord, for those who are tasked, Lord, to assist us in the process of managing the resources of our partners. So we thank you this morning in the name of Jesus. Well, about this event, Ask for your presence. Yeah. We are going to be glorified in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So that was the invocation there from Mr. Rosita Daniel, who is the initiative director at the Our guests, and to the head of CR, who is committed by us about this strategy. I'm going to recognize you. Um, Directors, my father also in the Christmas program. Let us now welcome to this stage Mr. William Y. Boer, who is a Deputy Director General for Technical Services at MAPA, for welcoming us. Deputy Director General for the administration who representing the Director General, Mr. Peter Morgan, Executive Director for Conservation International, <clears throat> my directors from NAFA, and guests from uh, the international, I mean, conservation internationals. We want to take this time on behalf of NAFA and in my own name to welcome you to this historic occasion. A few months back, we signed an income grant with the Conservation International to the Blue Ocean uh, project. And today we are here for some items that are being uh, procured uh, by that project to be donated to the uh, fisheries sector for the fight against IUU. <clears throat> this is our headquarter. The technical building is on the other side. We want to welcome you here. Feel free. And if you have any problem, just contact us. We'll make sure we do cater to your need. Again, you are welcome and welcome. God bless all of you. Thank you, Mr. Boy. He's the deputy of the for technical services at NAFA. Thank you so much, Mr. Boy. Coastal areas in Liberia are highly vulnerable to the consequences of climate change at large 
population of coastal community lives in temporary and poorly constructed housing with the protection, little protection from rising sea levels or storm. I will shock you, ladies and gentlemen of the press, that every year, an estimated $60 billion of revenue is lost to IUU fishing. So it is hugely anticipated that the actions being to here today will help to combat illegal fishing. We, know, we must ado, and now welcome to this podium, Mr. Dr. Peter G. Maba is a country director for Conservation International. Sir? Welcome. So, the country director for Conservation International, Dr. Peter Chimonga, has been called upon to do the formal presentation of the items. Let me start by saying, please allow me to stand on existing protocol. I know this is a tactical meeting, but once you have the DDG speaking, you have to be very careful how you proceed. And I also want to say that I'm happy and thanks to the Napa family for the warm welcome. We are here today because uh, of an initiative that was started four years ago through the conference. And uh, we had a Blue Ocean Conference. Liberia happened to be the first country in Africa organized the Blue Ocean Conference that brought over 250 participants. We had a mix of stakeholder, technicians, and experts from the entire West Af African region, including our offices in Asia and the Americas. And uh, at the end of the conference, there was a resolution drafted. The outcome of that resolution led to the development of a program, first of its kind, Liberia Blue Ocean <coughs> Program, supported through the Embassy of Sweden in Liberia uh, and uh, CEDA. So for the purpose of uh, this meeting, and also considering that we have the media here, and this program will be listing why across this office. I will want to use this time to give you a little bit of background on CI Conservation International, uh, the Blue Ocean Program, and why CI and NAFA agree to go into partnership. Like the uh, my colleague said, my name is Dr. Peter G. Moba. I'm the country director for Conservation <coughs> International country program in Liberia. Conservation International has worked to spotlight the secure and of critical benefits that nature provides to humanity. Com combining the framework with innovations in science, policy, and finance, we have helped to protect over 6 million square kilometers um, which is around 2.3 million square miles of land and sea across South country. Building upon a strong foundation of science, partnership, like what is happening now, and feed demonstration, Conservation International empower society to res responsibly and sustainably care for nature, our global biodiversity, for the well-being of humanity. We imagine a healthy, prosperous world in which society are forever committed to caring for the value of nature and the long-term benefit people and all life on life uh, gets. The Blue Ocean Program built up from the successful hosting of the conference as an outcome and um, which were hosted by Conservation International in partnership with the EPA, was supported by
by the CEDA Development Agency through the Swedish Embassy in Liberia. So uh, we want to open it, uh, say that you should join us to give our deepest thanks and appreciation to the generosity of the people of, 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 Sweden, of Sweden and the embassy beyond Liberia. The BOP, which is the Blue Ocean Program, is implemented in a coalition with government agency, the EPA, NAFA, Maritime Authority, FDA, Forestry Development Authority, the Ministry of Gender, and the Cooperative Development Authority, along with local communities in coastal areas. Before I move forward, today is a special day for me, and I kind of work around the, the, the Deputy Director General to have this program today, because today mark my 43rd birthday. So uh, maybe, <laughs> so I'm also here uh, doing the donation by the Town celebrating my birthday. Napa staff. Key team to the BOP is implementing with Napa is on sustainable fishery and the blue economy or blue economy work status, which include establishment of community fishery improvement project in the southeast of Liberia, Riverside, Sino, Grand Crew, and Maryland. Support to feature women, which we consider fishmonger, to develop and scale their business. Support of fisher folks to effectively manage and own their resources. This involves provision of legal fishing gear, training, training materials, and management of group dynamics. Support NAFA in improving, because we know they're already doing it, in improving the data collection processes and enhancing monetary control and surveillance for additional fishery, which is outlined in our econ green. Combating illegal, like the colleague said, unregulated, unreported um, additional fishery in Liberia, enhancing NAFA engagement and management at the local level by supporting and building the capacity of NAFA staff in the Southeast and also supporting the establishment or the revamping of cooperative in the Southeast. Having given that background of our projects and the collaboration with NAFA, today I'm happy to announce that we are here to make a donation in the tune of $20,716.50 income. And I like to emphasize income because I don't want to leave from here and they ask the, D, the DDG, where is the money? Or uh, somebody come, we need that money, how did you uh, distribute the money? That's the cost of the material that we, we are going to present. Uh, so uh, just uh, to give you a summary of the kind of material you're going to be, we're going to be presenting that constitute that amount. We have mini camera, waterproof. You know that uh, uh, NAFA, they had to go on there to that. It's different from the camera that you're holding around. We have the membrane car. We have laptop, GPS, tablet. Um, we have the case, the power band. We have ring gear, including the boot, and the and the actual ring suit. You know, that is uh, just an initial uh, of what we sign up in the income grant. In addition, we are providing support, logistical support to the fee staff to enhance their work to monitor. Because if NAFA succeed, the BOP succeed. If the BOP succeed, NASA, NAFA succeed. So this is a partnership that is far beyond our reach far beyond my reach, far beyond uh, all of us, because NAFA and Conservation International is just a transitional process for us. Tomorrow, uh, Honorable Boy wouldn't be here. I might take on another post, but we leave a legacy and a, and a framework that other people coming behind us with part of it. So Honorable 
um, DDGs uh, on behalf of Conservation International and the donor, the Embassy of Sweden and CEDA. It is my honor to, on this bright morning, Thursday morning, 4th of August, my birthday, to present to you uh, these materials uh, as part of our our uh, the agreement in, 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 in full fulfillment of the commitment we made uh, when we were signing the ECAN grant agreement with, 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 with you. And we want to say in a public manner that we enjoy the relationship, the working relationship, the partnership with NAFA. And all we can pray for is to continue to strengthen this uh, as we fight to combat uh, illegal fishing, irregular fishing, or reported fishing, and to also provide sustainable livelihood for local communities. So as a symbol, I'd like to do this and maybe so I was the voice of the country director. Thank you so much, Mr. Mala. Donating these items to the authority for the duration. So the man is fresh. And he celebrates his birthday today. Maybe from here, he will go to this. I don't know what the party taking place. <laughs> Meanwhile, I am celebrating my, my own August 9, so not too far from his. Thank you, Dr. Bomber. Thank you. So we got remarks, and that will be done by the Deputy Director General for Administration, who is we have to proceed for Madam Emma T. Glasgow. So we please rise up as welcome to the stage. So the Deputy Director of NAFA. Thank you very much. Uh, so I'm going to thanks to Madam Emma from Conservation International the country director, Mr. Owe, and our team of directors, and NAFA, the media. I want to use this time to uh, extend our thanks and appreciation to Conservation International. Uh, like the country we have said, it was some years, a few years back, I can recall, I uh, represented again the Director General at the Blue Ocean Conference, where this whole project started. And by the way, the Director General would have actually loved to be here. This occasion was planned for yesterday, but uh, our partners uh, had to have some change in their schedule. So we rescheduled for today. She sure love to be here to receive these items on behalf of the National Fisheries and Aquaculture Authority. But due to some other engagement, she asked that we toss it for her. And uh, she like to extend on behalf of the National Fisheries and Aquaculture Authority, the government of Liberia has a of thanks to Conservation International and to all the partners supporting that project to ensure that we can fulfill on the promises and the agreement that was signed with Conservation International and supporting our fight against IUU and environmental programs in the coastal counties, specifically in the southeast. IUU is a major challenge 
and sustainably managing our fisheries resources. And you would think that this is for only Liberia, go around all of the coastal countries you know of in the world, they take this issue very important. If you should sustainably manage your resources, the fight against illegal fishing is cool to sustainably managing your fisheries resources. And so at this point in time that we have the support from one of our major partners to ensure that we enhance our capacity and I'd like to, to, to thank the country director for recognizing the fact that we already have in place structures, programs here towards combating IU. This support is intended to enhance what we have, to prepare us adequately to ensure that we can be on top of this issue to prevent people from exploiting our resources and so we can assure you that these items that you donated today will be adequately used for the internal purpose and we will live in line with the agreement assigned and hope that in the next donation or next program we can get something far bigger than this so that we, <laughs> we can get something far bigger than this and that's the reason why we're going to use it effectively so that when the partners and donors see you say yes i think there's a need for the increase uh funding in this direction we are happy to receive these items and uh, our staff who are involved with the work uh, have already been empowered and you can rest assured that we we'll work along with you ensuring that we protect our waters, we protect our marine resources so that our people can be able to benefit from their resources. Again, we want to say thanks to the team of NAFA who also assisted in working with Conservation International to ensure that we are at this point. Uh, all of the directors, you know yourself, have participated in this program and continue to work with conservation. Uh, thanks to Mr. Boyer, who have been a lead on this program to ensure that we have the donation exercise done today. Thanks to all of you for gracing this occasion. On behalf of the Director General, again, we want to assure you, uh, Mr. Country Rep, that this item will be used for the intended purpose and that we look forward to more partnership in other areas of fisheries, specifically focusing on climate, uh, uh, climate areas or uh, areas affecting coastal communities so that we can enhance the capacity of our locals so that they can be able to adequately benefit from their fisheries resources. Thank you very much. Thanks to all of you for coming. That was the voice of the Deputy Director General. Honorable Elbasi Manamana Proxy. On this program, I see the donation PG. of items. So, the last aspect of this program has to do with a group photo. So, if you are just uh, seeing this, there is a program marking the donation of from some items, including laptops, cameras, ring gears from the so, Conservation International uh, to the Management of NAFA, which is aimed at combating the labor of the water in one way, as well as in the Father, we come, Lord, to return to you all the praise and all the glory. Again, Lord, we thank you for our partners. We ask the Lord in the conservation and the management of our, our marine resources. That has been the beginning. Even as he assists us, Lord, to carry out our duties in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for the CR family. 
by the other family will give you all the praise in Jesus' name. Amen. So, so this is how we come, come to the end of this program. Let me show um, you the items right now. Position ourselves for the Please go for the thousands. These items include laptops, body cameras, which are going to the CR Conjure Director campaign. So maybe we can take you to the guy shop down. Yeah, we need our hands. As well as concept communities areas in language. best international prices. So thank you very much. These are some of the items right there. You can see the items that are being on display. You can see recent, recent technologies. Everything has GPS. Maybe we can do another. Okay, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, okay. You can see that so, is right there. Yeah. So, yeah, so we are so many items in the laptops, tablets. We have modern camera that can be used in the photo. Because the the one I love you, I will. Most of these activities, <laughs> of these activities <laughs> are still based on the camera. <laughs> 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 And a lot of ranking. So, to all of our viewers, we say thank you for our watch. But to me, to this broadcast, and this is how we come to the end of this program, which marking a donation from Conservation International to NAFA for you to combat the global unrecorded and unrecorded issue in the territorial world. Thank you very much, and bye bye for now.